welcome back to the channel, my dear unicorns and Apache helicopters. My name is Tim, Nick Mayel is helping us out. We're gonna go uh, over some nice things. The guys wanted me to frame this as Kazushi Alavanka crossbody micro adjustment systems dilemmas. dilemmas. Let's just call it that. Okay guys, so first I wanna cover real quick some arm drags from the open guard. Now I don't wanna give Nick both my legs to pass or do a body lock pass. Yeah, uh, I wanna do some stuff from here. Now, we can go over the stuff we did in different videos, getting underhooks, getting sweeps, doing the shoulder crunch, which we had a whole video on. Today we're gonna look at arm drags. Now just real basic, if I wanna do an arm drag on this side, I will control his wrist, pull his arm towards me, catch a deep grip behind his armpit. Yeah, don't just get the elbow, deep in the armpit, wrist deep, and pull him towards me. I don't wanna fall down with my shoulders on the mat, because then Nick will collapse all his weight on top of me, and this, this tends to be a bit hard for what I wanna do now. Later on, we'll see what happens from there. If he keeps his elbows nice and tight, so usually his hands are in this space, right? Grip fighting. If he keeps everything behind, I'll just wrestle up and get a top position. Now, if he keeps his elbows tight whilst grip fighting, I can use this hand to get inside of his hand and turn his elbow away from his body to uh, expose his armpit, yeah? Create uh, an opening, reach in, go for the arm drag, yeah? So either grab the wrist or open up, go deep in the arm drag, pull him towards me and put my chest high so I stay seated. Now, instead of me facing towards his legs, I will face towards his head. This is important to catch his shoulder so it doesn't pull his arm back. I keep control, my elbow goes in, and I turn, and my left hand grabs his lat. So in no gi, it's pretty hard to grab something here. If you go for the waist, his full body is strong to get more posture. I will go underneath his armpit and grab his lat as I pull my elbow down. And then I open up my chest. So stay a bit up, please. I open up my chest and I base out here. Now, with only the compression of my chest and pulling on his lat, I will ask Nick to pull his right hand back. And that should be pretty hard. So I wanna keep it there for a second or two. So if you're doing this with your partner, don't rush through it. Just go for the arm drag. If I stay facing towards his legs, pull your arm back, please. He'll just pull it back, you see that? And he'll catch the underhook and then put me back down on the mat. So I want you guys, as soon as you get the underhook, uh, sorry, the arm drag, as soon as you get the arm drag, to open up your chest this way. So here, and all my pressure's pushing into him. Now, if you wanna pull your arm back, please. It's pretty stuck. As I pull him towards me and my chest pushes in. This hand, I want to keep it out of this area where I can pull my pace down and push me back down to the mat. So I open up. Now, my legs, I'm going to pummel. I'm going to climb towards his back. Okay, so this leg stays in, the bottom leg. The elder leg goes out and I'll make a technical get up. So I'll lean on my foot and my hand as I climb my hip over. So I'm not reaching my leg and then scooting over, I'm lifting my hip as I twist. Now, I'm going to assume Nick wants to prevent me from getting that second hook on. If not, just real basic, you can get the second hook in yeah, and start attacking for the back. I'm going for some dilemmas from here. So first, to keep control from the lat, I like to switch over to the armpit to not fall back off of his back. Especially if he starts standing up, I want to have double unders, which is a very good control. If you get tempted here, so my hip is on top and I'm trying to work this hook in, and I go for a seat belt, he can either tripod or lean forward, and I'm starting to lose the back and get face smashed on the mat, which is not my goal today. So arm drag, switch here. Now, I like to go maybe with this power half Nelson grip here for control or to create space between his elbow and knee. So keep, uh, prevent my hook please, to grab his wrist and open up here on the armpit. So I open this up as I base and get my hook in, start sliding in, scoring my points for the hooks. Yeah, there's also the option if you don't wanna make the whole climb to reach over for the truck. Please be sure to check out a truck video on that, but let's keep it with this one. Okay. So we're here climbing, fighting for that hook. That's my main objective. I can always go down for arm bars, truck, etc. But I just want to score my points and get the back control. So if he starts standing up, which is pretty easy here, I like to switch back to those double unders. Now he needs those hands to base, I will get my hook in. Yeah? Or I keep control of this power half Nelson yeah, on his face. But I don't really like, uh, put your elbows on the mat please. I don't really like going for a seat belt here yet because he will just throw me over and I'll slide down. So that's a basic back take. Let's see it on quick uh, speed. So we're playing open guard, reaching out, arm drag, pulling it forward, open my chest, start climbing, getting the back control, yeah? Now I don't want to finish here because I will face smash on the mat. I like to base off, flip my opponent over, start attacking here, out of frame. Now we'll look at the same thing from close guard. We call this the cross arm control. So anytime I can get my opponent's arm on the outside, we can have overhook guard, etc. Now, just gonna turn a little bit, please. If I get my opponent's arm on the cross side, that's when this stuff happens. I can still do the back take, even from close guard, 
but I'm just gonna show you guys some different options. Especially if he puts his weight in, it's hard to get the back take, but he'll have more control of the arm. Now, how to get that arm there? Well, in Gi, I can grab his sleeve and pull it over. Yeah, I can break the grip, pull it over. There's tons of ways to do this. Sometimes his arm gets stuck in between as I sit up, yeah, or pop it in anyway, or arm drag. Not gonna go over that too much. Anytime you end up with this arm on the cross side of your body, I wanna control the arm. Now, the fun thing is, to control the arm, I'm not actually touching the arm. That's the cool part. So I control his arm with both our chests. So I once again reach over and grab this lat. As I pull Nick on top of me, and I make like a sit up and crunch my abs in, so if he pulls his right arm out, it's stuck again, okay? Now, if Nick wants to get his posture back, guys, instead of, um, uh, listen to me closely, please. So go up using your back. So that's pretty stuck, but Nick is a smart guy. He will first lift his head, then his neck, and then his back. You see this? And that's where his arm gets out. Boom. Also, I don't want to get stacked forward too much. I don't mind him going forward. If he keeps going forward, I'll just angle out and start going for the back. But I like to do, instead of close guard, I like to put this foot on the hip already. Squeezing my knees together. Yeah, if he starts stacking, I can just square off and keep sliding my shoulders backwards. So we have this crossbody attack angle, but we see we have control of the back. We have control of the arm without touching it but his neck is free. If his head goes up, his neck will follow, the back goes. So this free hand is not cupping his neck because he can lift his head. So I'm cupping all the way on top of his skull. So my hands have this task, my elbow pushes down and this elbow and armpit tries to catch the arm here. Now please lift your head, neck and back. Now he's stuck guys. Now for the transition, this is the cool part I think. This calf is going to rotate. I keep control, pull your arm up please, sit up. Switch my elbow to the inside of his temple, push it off. Throw my leg over, keep my armpit in his arm, lift my hips, and get a nice step there for a beautiful armbar. I can also switch up, get this arm in between, get like a double armbar, especially if it keeps, if he keeps it backwards, just lift here, get this armbar, lift here, get this armbar. Let's see that one more time. So instead of doing this armbar where I just control the arm and start throwing my legs or just like basic stuff, one, two, throw it over, I keep control of his head, guys. The head is everything that prevents him from posturing up or stacking me in. So we have this crossbody attack angle. I get this lat, push my elbow down, grab his skull, keep my elbow down. Now retract your arm, please. Sit up, please. Nice. Stack me, please. Nice, beautiful. Now I switch. I keep his head away. Stack me to your left, please. It's nearly impossible because of my elbow. Keep this calf high, switch over. Now I don't cross my angles or go down because then he can stack me. Stack me to your left up, please. Boom, I get stacked. So one more time, back, please. I rotate my calf to the outside. Stack me to the left, please. No, please, I hope you can see Nick's head, it's beautiful. And then I keep control with my armpit, I squeeze my legs together as I lift my hip up for the armbar. Yeah, that's it for the armbar. One last thing you can do here, if he keeps pushing forward and be rigorous, I just dive under, sweep him over with this pendulum sweep. But that's something for a different video. Nick, thank you for helping me out. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, I'll put some links to different videos in the end so you can uh, mix it up with some other stuff we've been doing. And thank you for watching. If you're still watching, you are maybe one of the three person, <laughs> the three people alive watching actually to the end of the video. Thank you so much. If you made it this far, please also be sure to check out our Patreon page. Yeah, just take a look. We have some different tiers. We have some behind, every tier unlocks different content going from behind the scenes videos, early access videos, special videos that will never make it to YouTube, guest techniques, voting polls on what to film next, uh, even a free rash guard after a few months. Um, discount on our DVD, a lot of stuff we have there. Just take a look, yeah? And let me know what you think. See you next video, guys. Peace.